Hey guys, what's going on? See Blake here, and it is my favorite time of the year. Not only is it the holiday season, but it's also the time of the year that I always do my top 10 pickups of the year, followed by my video with my top five to 10 releases of the year. So staying with tradition, I'm doing my top 10 releases that I picked up this year. So unfortunately, unlike past years, if I didn't actually purchase the sneaker, I'm not putting it on my list. To make things better, in the season of holiday giving, we're gonna give away a Crep Protect travel case. This comes with a microfiber towel, little kit for you guys here. Uh, this is from Kicks Under Cost, the site that I run. Crep Protect went through them to give them a couple to give away. So I'm bringing that to you guys. Just drop a comment down below in the description and leave a like on this video for a chance to be picked to receive this. Finally, before we get started, if you guys want to do a top 10 list of your own, feel free to contact me on Twitter or drop it down in the comments. I will check it out and share it with my following because I love seeing what other people picked up from the year. It's my favorite part about doing these videos. Let's get started with my top 10 sneaker pickups from the year of 2015. Okay guys, first up, this is a Saucony release. This is a release that was a collaboration with a company called Beams and Foot Patrol. Now what's really cool about the sneaker is that Beams makes their very own sock in-house and they gave this sock to Foot Patrol and Saucony to produce on the upper. They kept it super clean with this really minimalistic uh, color on the front. You can see this is a sample pair. I have a size 11 and a half coming in, but I didn't have it in time for the video. So when I was at Saucony, I kindly asked if I could visit, borrow their sample. They use a really awesome premium leather on the inside. And this is a release that really stood out to me among Saucony drops this year. And it was something that was left off a lot of other people's lists where I really think the time and storytelling in this model deserved a spot on the top 10 list. All right guys, next up, probably one of my top five worn sneakers this year. You'll notice this Vachetta tan, shout out to the Birkenstocks though, uh, has been really, really worn in. A lot of you guys on Twitter have been asking, when am I gonna do a video? I figured at the end here would be a nice time to show you how the leather has changed. Let's take a close up look. All right, so if you guys remember a while ago I showed these on a video they were super light almost you know a pale pale color you can see that after about 40 wears they've kind of appreciated into a darker brown upper still in great shape I will say my only complaint about this release is the aglets fall off really easily so if you do have a pair just unscrew those before you wear anything and these will in fact get an even deeper a uh, darker almost chocolate brown so I'm really excited to see uh, how these change as I keep on wearing them. I thought the Pinnacle series this year were a little bit crazy with the $400 price point, but the one Pinnacle Jordan I did pick up was the Fischetta Tan, and I am a huge fan. Definitely stands out among the top 10 releases this year. All right, guys, while we're on the subject of premium sneakers, this is a concepts release that I definitely think is one of the top 10 sneakers of 2015, if not one of the top 10 sneakers uh, in my collection. They did an amazing, amazing, incredible job on these. These are the luxury good 997s. So aside from doing a crazy job storytelling, they built out a installation in their store to replicate a luxury store and they have this crazy, crazy detailed leather. These were so nice, I bought two pairs. I'm showing you my dead stock pair right now. The fact that they kept it so simple with all orange on the upper, you know, might be something where you're saying, ah, well, don't they have to do something really creative to get that apart? Um, but this is a case in point where they really just focus on really premium, premium materials. Um, you know, there's not really much that has to be said other than this is a crazy wearable colorway and one of my favorite pickups of 2015. All right, guys, another release that I felt was one of my top pickups of 2015 that released in 2015 is the Supreme Upside Down Jordan 5 Clap. And it's just crazy how they get, took something so simple and iconic like the metallic Jordan 5, changed around a couple of things, and made something that's gonna be a huge staple for any Jordan collector or Supreme collector. So we'll take a close up look. Like I said, they didn't change much up from the metallic 5, apart from adding the Supreme branding, which arguably a lot of people will say is very hype beasty, right? They didn't have to do much, but it really goes to show the power and influence of a brand like Supreme. And as someone that's studied marketing and product marketing um, specifically, Supreme's always been extremely fascinating to me. Um, and to be able to pick these up, they definitely stand out as a prime example of all the rich history that Supreme has and their impact not only on footwear, but clothing as well. All right guys, a lot of you might recognize this box. This is the Adidas Ultra Boost. This is one of the pairs I own. I got another box here. And then I even had that color with the purple on the heel tab that I used for my cutting apart the Adidas Ultra Boost video, which I know a ton of you guys checked out one of my most viewed videos, which is crazy. And I wore those into the ground. So I had a re-up with a fresh pair. This is the all white. I think this is probably one of the most popular 
popular colorways from this year. They keep restocking on different sites, and I know they'll be back in 2016. So if you missed out, just hold out. Um, kicks on our cost obviously we'll post them but this is the ultra boost now what i love about the ultra boost is for adidas they really needed something some sort of technology to get enough of the you know limelight to take away some of the market share from nike and for adidas ultra boost really became that saving grace for their company their stock price went through the roof this year they had an amazing year and i'm really looking forward to see what's next for the brand they released the NMD runner, which unfortunately I was not able to purchase, which probably could have been a contender for top 10 pickets of 2015. I just do not have a pair, um, but the Ultra Boost for sure is one of those models. Okay, we're going to go back to Jordan brand. This is the Public School New York Jordan 12. Now, the reason why this made one of my top 10 releases of this year that I picked up is the fact that Jordan brand finally has kind of figured out the melding of words. This premium high end, they did it with the Jordan Future Premium, had lackluster sales. The Jordan Pinnacle, you could find on, you know, under retail on eBay or sitting on shelves at Flight 23, some of their spots that they have, some of the new stores they opened up. And yet, this collaboration with Public School really did a great job blending the word, world of high fashion into Jordan brand sneakers, and this one was perfectly executed. We'll give you an up-close look. Now, I have a full review on these on my channel, but they, again, just like those luxury good 997s, they didn't have to do much to this sneaker. They kept it all gray, and yet it's that design choice that makes the sneaker so wearable, and something I know I'm gonna be able to pull out of the closet a lot not just in 2015, but in the future as well. We talked about the Ultra Boost. You probably knew this one was coming. This is the Yeezy Boost 750 in black. We also have the custom pair I did with Mosh, which I've been rocking equally. This sneaker, without a doubt, doesn't matter if you're a Adidas fan, a Kanye fan, a Nike fan, blew up the sneaker world. And during All-Star Weekend, when Nike was dropping, you know, 20 plus SKUs, Everyone was concerned about the latest sneaker that Kanye West did and the fact that they once again incorporated that boost technology was even a bigger win for Adidas because they picked up customers on the Ultra Boost that couldn't get the sneaker but wanted that same kind of look, that same sort of feel and uh, you know I should say look especially with the 350 low and you might even see a combination of this sneaker with the Ultra Boost and the 350 low in 2016. So it's crazy to see what a year Adidas had and I think the 750 and the work Kanye West did really wrap that up nicely to summarize the moves that Adidas made this year. All right guys, moving on. Obviously I'm a huge fan of concepts and a huge fan of packaging and this release came during Art Basel, one of the last releases of the year. This was the Concepts release with ASICs. It's a gel respector modeled after the Coca plant, but you have one of probably the cleanest gel respector models. This stood out to me especially because the gel respector is a sneaker that not a lot of people are turned on to. It's kind of an odd retro that kind of, you know, slid under the radar and I felt Concepts did a great job bringing this into the limelight. I'll show you it a little bit more up close. Again, not too much with the upper. They didn't have to do too much to make the sneaker stand out. They kept it clean with a super premium pig suede on the upper and then they had kind of that offset off white and then that gray coloring on the midsole, gum bottom. It was a wrap. And again, one of the best boxes with the money box, I think this year, one of the coolest packaging that was available for every consumer. Going back to Jordan brand, I was super selective on my Jordan brand pickups and the Jordan 11, I think really redeemed itself this year. That maze gamma colorway had nothing to do with Michael Jordan's legacy and storytelling and they brought it back with the Jordan 11 72 and 10. Now, while I wasn't happy about the increased uh, price point of this, I felt Jordan Brand did in fact do a good job remastering this Jordan Retro. And the fact that they included premium leather on the upper as well as the tongue really makes this stand out among other Jordan 11s that primarily use meshing. Another sneaker I did a full review on the channel. Again, they toned down, thank goodness these are not like neon blue. They kept everything clean, nice pebbled leather. The leather even continues inside the tongue as well as the lining. They did a tremendous job. I even like the addition of the foil Jumpman as opposed to being stitched. This is just a clean retro and again, I like the Public School New York Jordan 12, something I'm gonna be able to wear a ton. Okay guys, capping it off, one of the sneakers I really felt was the best. We talked about how it was Kanye's year, we talked about how it was Adidas's year, and the 350 really summarizes this very nicely. It's one of the only sneakers where at this, I had my mom asking me for a pair and my girlfriend asking me for a pair at the same time. I mean, it had massive appeal for whatever reason. He didn't have to do much. He's kept it clean with the turtle dub, the moon rock, um, or Agara colorway, and then the pirate black, and there's another one coming out at the end of the year. So he's 
absolutely crushed it. This sneaker is so comfortable. It's everything I love about the Ultra Boost, and it fits just like a sock. It's basically an uncaged Ultra Boost. You know, let's just throw it out and say it there. And again, one of these sneakers where Adidas has really taken back some of the excitement that Nike commanded every release day, where now a Jordan Retro next to a Yeezy drop, they've come together, kind of changed. A Jordan Retro next to an Ultra Boost drop, if it's a hot colorway, you know, the Jordans are sitting now. It's really looking up to 2016 to be Kanye and Adidas' year, and I can't wait to see what they have in store. This has been my top 10 pickups of 2015 that released in 2015 make sure if you enjoyed hit that thumbs up button and don't forget about the giveaway for the crep protect if you're interested that information is down below in the description from kicks on our cost another project that was started in 2015 that you guys have loved so thank you guys for the love and support it really means a lot channel has been so much fun to have and i'm looking forward to another year of making content giving you guys honest reviews and helping you guys make purchasing decisions to be like signing out catch you guys soon peace